if possible let's go through your uh, yeah, yeah the project mini also, project whatever you have done so yeah also i have a question about the thing you know how you change lesson class 9 and 10 to have 11 as well for me it only has 9 and 10 because you like know. uh yeah yeah you opened it from our github right okay let yeah. me share that one okay anyway that is having the same content only i have agree i have separated the class 10 into two parts like this oh okay okay yeah anyway i will up, upload up, update that yep yeah can you see my screen yeah i am able to see your screen again okay so now I'll have to reevaluate you on what we've learned over these last few days and weeks. Yes, right. Yeah, that's the idea. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, so we worked on um, how to import a module, which okay, we use on the last class. Yes, correct. Yeah, yeah. which we used by using this code and figuring out what we wanted to import and mm. we imported it and then we would do it and it would import like a mats function and then we would do that and it would figure out what the mats function is like over here it would it figured out what the square root of 25 is which is five and that's why it's yes, labeled right. five here correct yeah yeah and then let's see then we also worked on how to import specific functions from a module, which yeah. we did, and it worked here. Oh, in this one, I mean. So then mm -hmm. we did that, and then you would figure out with this code what the square root is, and then it printed okay. out saying the square root of 16 is 4, which has also been labeled here, like with the 25. Okay. Then we learned how to create our own module, Mm -hmm. how to create our own modules and then creating this first we went into creating a simple module with okay. using the dot py file okay okay um, good. yes yeah, so we you would use that and like define i'm pretty sure is what the name for this one is this yeah and then you would greet the name and then you would do that like hello name and then add a b return which is a plus b which is what okay. this thing is. What? Yeah. And then it would yeah, put it together. Yeah, this particular function is doing that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then we would learn how to import and use our custom modules in Collab, which we, okay. which you use the import function and then write my module, which we made up here. This. Okay. And then we created. And then we used greeting my module, which is the still fun up here. So greet, and we added in the name here, which is okay. John now. And then okay, you fine. added it like the sum of it, and it okay. worked. And then greeting sum, and then it would say greeting the sum, and then say 10, and then say 15. On the okay, 10, great, 5, 15. good, good, good. Yeah. Yeah. And then you would. Just we kept working on this, and so it's basically the same thing here. Yes, right. The then, same code only. We were putting yes. it on code set. Yeah. And then we worked on the DRI function. Yeah, directly function. Yeah. Yeah. And then we use that like to print directly like the maths part of this. So like here it said maths, and then you put math.py, which it imported that. From another thing, and now it put pi down, which is three point one four. Yes, actually, the directory function will help you to list down whatever whatever return functions are present inside that particular directory. Like yeah, yeah. Okay. So okay. it will it will give me all the defined variables <laughs> or whatever uh, functions. Those things and all it will give give it back. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. and then there's. We also learned on Python packets, like yeah. uh, pip, pip, and then yes, like how pip to import used. Yeah. Yeah, PIP, and we learned how to import it. Like yes, similar right. to what we learned up here, we 
learned how to import it and how it would like work out. So like yes. if I would have played this, oh, I run anyways. Okay, it's just working. Yeah, and that was being done, and as it it did it, it would import it. Yes, oh. right. Actually, what it is doing, it is trying to. Uh, actually, package is nothing but it's a collection of modules. That's yeah, it will contain all the small, small parts of code, and they have packaged everything as a library, so that you can go and borrow. It, as like I told you, the library example, right? So you can go and borrow any book you want. The same yeah. way you can go and use any function you want from this packages. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And how how this worked out is because it used the sixteen and the twenty five, so we got the five and the four. That's, yeah, that's yeah. that's the square root function from the math. Yeah. yeah. And then we learned how to install ex external ones from going yes. onto the Python website. I don't remember the full website name. PYPA, yeah, Python package index. That is PYPA. Yeah. And inside that, we use pip to install everything. Pip install packages like this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then we did that and we learned how it how it, they install and how they work and how to like how to work them into our collab codes. Like how yes, they feel. Yeah, and with these ones, they will learn how to install and import extra little packages out and into our uh, software, like oh, so over course, these. Course. Yeah, yeah. And then let's see. So then they've had to create our own ones, which we like here because we've made the first module and the second module, and then we like yeah. combined them and made it our own. And then we Package. first work out. Yes, yeah. And then we use the dictionary to help with the packaging of the modules. And okay. then, yeah. And then we learned what the PIP was. Yeah. From yeah. Before, and basic commands and how okay. to like install them and like, yeah. And like Listing the different all versions. The installed packages. Yeah. Yeah. And how they work and like all the different numbers for each of them. Yeah. Yeah. These are their versions. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then okay. it kept going with these. Yeah, yeah. the commands and we then, used. Yeah. And then we learned how to upgrade them. Mm -hmm. And like this is quite an example. And then over here, this is how to uninstall, uninstall it. Yeah. Yeah. And then we learned that. And how to install just a specific version. And then we mm. learned that by putting in this version code, which yes, right. is here. Yeah. 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 And then like the rest, like how to use the PIP in Google Collab, which is the website we're using. And oh, then, good. yeah. And I think that's it. Oh yeah. Then in class 10, we learned what a string is, which we've learned before. Yeah. And we just reiterated it, like how the different, the connotations and the indexing and the slicing and all that. Yeah. Right. We just went we just over it and then yeah. we just did the common methods and how like the different things work and all that. And then, like, yeah. And how it how to format it in Python and all that like stuff. Yes. Like the base. Yeah. I think that that's it. And then we also went into advanced ones too. Yes, correct. Also, we, we made some file related stuff like read and yeah. close files like this. Okay, yeah. yeah, I think you grasp the things correctly, Nikhil. Very good. Yeah. All the very best. Yeah. Yeah, you are able to grasp the things, right? You are able to get the points like so far, whatever we have discussed, right? So now yeah. you get the confidence on how Python works or else. If you see a code, then you could have understand like how this code is being written, right? Yeah. So that is the confidence which I try to build in this complete class. Okay, and I will yeah. give you some more stuff also for you to uh, play along.
Okay, last okay. time we saw some AI related stuff, right? So I just introduced you to the world of AI. Like I was showing you a cat animation on that. You remember? Like we downloaded a yeah. cat image, and there we have animator, right? The same way, yeah. like uh, we can write programs also using this AI. Okay, so this didn't have anything in the syllabus. Okay, we just mm -hmm. you just reviewed all the topics. So. Because like if you cover this nine, ten, and eleven, these three classes, right? So this will cover most of things, like from class eight to class two. Okay, functions, packages, PIP, and this one. Mostly yeah. you use these these four classes only. The above steps and all are like the basic Python stuff. So these and all are the programming language constructs, like how our grammar works, right? The same way. Like you have a Renan Martin kind of book, right? So to understand the grammar, how the yeah. position works, how an adjunction works, right? So the similar mm -hmm. kind of demonstration was this one, like up to the class seven. Okay, so our program is having a grammar, and that grammar we were understanding using these classes up to class seven, and from class eight, like it's like a kind of an advanced English, right? Yeah. So once you once you know the complete context, what you will do, you will simply jump in, jump yourself into essay writing. You will be you will be doing some comprehensive reading, right? So those kind yeah. of stuff only. This one, like eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. And today's class, nothing is formal. Anyway, we will talk some new tools which are which came into market, which are related to generative AI, so that you can also try out these tools. Right, yeah. you already know Chat GPT, right? Yeah. So like with Chat GPT, yeah, try doing, try opening Chat GPT <laughs> and start, start, start taking the advantage of AI and start taking help from it. Okay. So whatever, yeah. whatever problems you gave it, it will give you the solution. Like this, okay. So I don't want to dig deeper beyond this generative AI stuff, but I will tell you the tools and accessories what you can use to get the maximum out of it okay suppose yeah. if you want to do any programming kind of stuff you can utilize chat this person okay or else yeah. if you if you don't if you if you are stuck up with any concepts here like whatever we have we have explained here right so if you want to dig deeper on it like you can ask chat gpt saying that uh, hey consider me as a 16 year old, right? You are a 16 year old, right? So you just tell it like consider me as a 16 year old and then tell it saying that like uh, teach me this one. Yeah. Teach me packages or teach me mm -hmm. PAP. Okay. Yeah, that makes teach sense. Teach me packages in Python. Just go here and it just press enter. Okay. So what it will do? It will simply tell me as based on my age, age specific stuff. Okay. So we, with that, we can easily understand what exactly it is telling. Okay. You just need to just read the stuff so that if you read the stuff, then you can easily understand what it is. Okay. Yeah. Likewise, this is one example of using this AI. Okay. Also, if you want to create an image out of it, just ask it to create an image showing a cat and dog who are friendly also the, the background. It's so on night time. You should do a street walk in a busy street. If I'm asking yeah. like this, then ChatGPT can create image also for you. Okay. So this mm -hmm. is my creative question, right? So whatever, whatever I am thinking creatively. Right, so that one, see now ChatGPT is giving me a, an image like this. Right, you can utilize ChatGPT for this as well. Right, so now it is generating you a good image. See, by looking that image, I am satisfied. See, I yeah. told night, 
right? So this is night background. And cat and dog, this looks friendly. And it is walking on a street, right? Yeah. So this is a busy street because cars are moving, right? And the background is blurred, that's fine. But anyway, my highlights are these particular two objects. Yeah. Okay, so this this way you can utilize chat GPT. Also, if you want to make any program out of chat GPT, you can simply ask like uh, provide me a Google Collab for Python code for building a calculator. Okay, I need yeah. to have two input box along with an operation box. Yeah. Operation mm -hmm. input box. So that user can enter any two inputs in input box along yeah. with the operation to get corresponding calculated output okay so your prompt should be very clear like what exactly you want you need to give here okay so this input we are giving here right so this is called as prompt okay you are prompting this chat gpt to build something okay so if you are asking it like this then it will simply give you a code yeah See, it is having operation of input and down. Okay. So yeah. what we can do simply we just need to copy this code by clicking this copy code. Okay. And go to Google Collab. Go to any of this. Okay, let me open. Yeah, this welcome cell itself. Okay. Just need to add, you, you need to add a code cell and then put here. Okay. Now if you press the play button after it connects. Let it connect. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what is happening. <coughs> see, now it gave me two buttons, two numbers, yeah. and an operation, right? Yeah. Suppose in case if I give fifty and then ninety, and then if I am adding, if I am, if I want to do a, a multiplication operation, right? See, after I select the multiplication operation, it is automatically giving me the result as 4,500 because finance are 45, right? So 4,500, right? If I want to do a subtraction, see, it's changing, right? Mm -hmm. See, division, right? So whatever you want, you can ask and it can give you. So for your code, you can use this chat GPT as your coding assistant as well. Okay. Yeah. Right, Nikhil. So this is how you can utilize this AI tools. Also, there are some uh, <coughs> some image related tools as well. Okay. Yeah. And we, anyway, we already see one image related tool, right? The same way you can utilize this tool, Runway ML. Runway ML, I already shown you them already in the last class. Like click on Runway, right? So using Runway ML, you can you can animate your images. Okay, so you can mm -hmm. click on this, get started, right? So it is saying that you can select from assets. Okay. Drop an image here. This one. Like my chat GPT created me this thing, right? Let me try to animate this one. Let me try to animate this thing. Like what it is doing. Yeah, I just downloaded this image. Mm -hmm. Let me try to upload that image. Yeah, in this tool, this is runway ML. Okay. Yeah. So now my image is here. In the image, I can ask like whatever I want. Uh, make the dog and cat sing, dance, 
making fun in streets. Uh, provide uh, have camera moments to make it engaging to watch. Mm -hmm. right, if I ask it, yeah, it will it will generate it for me. Okay, send to generation. So I'm going to pull it. Now, if I go to a second video, okay. Actually, it is not letting me to do why because like I have a key stuff. Yeah, if you try this, then this one will execute this. Like uh, yeah. how we have animated in our past class. Do you remember? Yeah. Uh, this one we did. Like we created a cat and we just made it to animate like this, right? The same way you can animate your images. Mm. See? Yeah, this is how I was animation on the last. I have animated some images on the last time. Likewise, okay. One image if you give, and you can you can use it for animations. Okay. Yeah. So this is this is one website called Runway. But this will be also useful for you. Similar to Chat GPT, there is something called Cloud. Cloud Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. We talked so about in, that yeah, you can use Cloud also. In cloud, you can, but the cloud cannot generate images, but it can generate whatever text you are asking to. Okay. Yeah. You can create websites out of it. Okay. You can ask it to generate websites. Right. So this is also possible. Right. So this is this is using a language model called class 3.5 on it. Okay. So likewise. You can mm -hmm. utilize this along with that. If you want to try out something new, there is something called hugging face. Okay, go to this hugging face. This this is the marketplace for all this AI stuff. Okay, so here you can go to these places. Okay, see here these and all are the trending spaces. Okay, so if you see something which is exciting you. Then you can go and try it out. See, this is having yeah. colors virtual triangle. If I click on this, yeah, yeah, and here let it load because this will load slowly because this is a complete free test. So here let it load. It's loading here, right? So what I can give is like I can give, uh, I can upload any image here, okay. Let me upload a person's image here. Right, so this beggar is there. So this beggar is there, right? So this beggar's shirt we will change. Let's see. see I have uploaded this image. Yeah, and I can upload this garment like this. If I do that, then what it will do, it will simply put this shirt to the beggar like this. Yeah, okay, else I can upload some other image. Let me try this particular person. See, he is the open eye founder, Sam Altman. Okay. I just want to yes. change his shirt into this one, like this. Okay, so now he is wearing something like this. I, I don't want his outfit like this. I want to change his outfit like this. Okay, so if I choose like this, then if I click on this three run. Okay, so what it will do, it will simply try to execute this and it will put the shirt for him. It will take 40 seconds. Within 40 seconds, we can completely change his shirt. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is called a spiritual trion. Okay. Yeah. So this is also one such use case of AI. 
these and all are ai related stuff so you can go yeah. to this hacking face and you can try it okay where is my where is my upload address see yeah see this guy this guy <laughs> completely changed this all see yeah this is this is my input image and this is my shirt and if i do like that then this is completely changed right so these and all are possible artificial intelligence generative yeah. generative ai whatever we are talking right so the mm -hmm. similar way there are a lot of spaces available you can go and export these spaces like whatever is exciting you okay you can use this fish audio this is this will simply convert your voice into a fish voice like this no nah, yeah okay so this is one thing and this will be used for background removal Okay, this DALI 4K, this will this will generate high quality images for you. Like portrait. This one will simply apply a portrait chart on a video. Yeah. Like this, it will simply do. Okay, so this is possible. And I like this AI comic right? Yeah. Here it is. So it's it's running already. So here I can describe whatever comics I want, and it will simply generate it. Mm -hmm. That will be your your own kind of comics, like this. so. What kind of comics you want? Suppose in case if you want to have a stylish kind of stuff, you can simply go to. See, I want to deposit a comics related to medieval India. Yeah, you mm -hmm. simply choose medieval and in which grid format I need this comics. Like I need a four grid like this, or else I need to show I need to say like two grid. See, this is how I need to have my comics. Like each and every box should have a uh image along with some text like this. Okay, I can give a story like this. Uh what story I can give like Indian King. In defeating another king, likewise. Okay. Or else yeah. I want I want to tell a, a save the dog kind of story. Okay. If I click and go, what happens? It will simply generate a new story for. Right. So it's trying to generate a new story for. Me. See here the yeah. boxes are loading, right? So there and all I will get some image along with some text. See, it's trying to generate some image and along with some text. See? Yeah. Working is temporary, mine is eternal, like this. And see, a, a king is trying to speak with another king. <laughs> Right, it looks it looks so artistic, right? So these kind of things and all are possible with uh, this. This looks yeah. like a comic book page, right? So this it kind does. of things and all possible. So you can create comics out of it. You can create comics out of A Comic Factory. Same way, you can do a lot of things with this. See, this have a lot of things to practice and try out. Right. So yeah. use this hugging face spaces so that you can uh, try using your imagination to do. Also, you can generate songs also. Mm -hmm. So there is something called the Facebook music. Gen. So here you just need to describe your music. Okay. Oh, so here, that's cool. If mm -hmm. you describe your music, it can generate a song for you. Or else there is something called Suno.ai. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen that one. Suno.ai, suno.com. So this will simply create a song for you. Right? So you just need to give this, give this, uh, how to say? You need to give a description like this. Like, whatever, whatever you want, you can give a description. Suppose I want to create a song. Uh, sing me about dog and cat 
who are prompts. Likewise, if I give a prompt, what happens? It will simply try to create a song, song for it. Okay. See, pass and whiskers, playful pop, likewise. Okay, out of the information which it is having, with this, it will try to provide me a song like this. Right? So now I can play this song. Yeah. Are you able to hear it, right? Yeah. Pause and whisker side by side. Together they take the ride. Barking loud and purring soft. Chasing dreams they never lost. In the world it's always bright. With each other. Right? This song is good, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is how it can simply play. Okay, so this is this is one such AI related tool. So this is called as Uno. Okay, so likewise you can explore and this is a vast space, Nikhil. And everything, like whatever I am yeah. I'm showing you, right? So everything is written in Python only. Okay, so the things, whatever we have seen here, right? So this spaces, right? So whatever you are seeing yeah. here, we take for an example, go to any of this. Okay, we tried this, right? So if yeah. you go here and if you go to these files, right, see here, there is an app.py. You go here, see what is this? This is Python, right? Yeah. So this is a function. We use this imports. These are if conditions. Right, so they were just simply trying to create an application out of whatever we have seen so far. Right, so they have used a library called the Gradio. So this Gradio is responsible for that user interface, like whatever we have seen on that screen, right? So that one. Along with that, they use this NumPy. This is one library, random, base64, request, JSON time. So everything is nowadays possible with Python. And that's why we have a complete class on Python. I hope you enjoyed our classes, right? Yeah. So, yeah, if possible, try to give a review for me, please, so that that will be useful for my uh, future stuffs. Okay, you can write a review to me in email. Okay. Yeah. So that will be helpful for me. And... Yeah, that's all about classes, Nikhil. Please let me know if you have anything you need to discuss. Uh, so, with the different AI softwares, um, like the music ones, how can yeah. they help with like make with coding, like the music ones and the other ones like those? Uh, yeah, that is also behind the scenes. There is a there is a huge area called generative AI. Okay, so the generative AI is nothing but they will be dealing that with the models. Okay, model is a pre-trained stuff. Okay, mm -hmm. so they have teach the machine saying that the the machines can automatically generate the music. Okay, so means that 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 has been that has been thought with lot of musical stuff. See how we are thinking. See now, now, now you know Python, right? So now you are able to understand the code. Now yeah. I showed you a code, right? So how you are able to do that? Because I taught you Python, and now you have trained your mind with Python. 
yeah right? so with that only you are able to grasp like uh, what exactly a code looks like and you can generate the code on your own right the same mm-hmm. way there is a huge area called machine learning artificial intelligence like this okay yeah. so there what they will do they will simply teach the machine aka the model okay so the model is something but that's a that's a huge file okay so on that file itself they will simply put the mechanism along with the musical knowledge so once they do that then when you are asking something in the form of prompt that will be getting searched inside that model and it will fetch that music and it is giving it back to you like this yeah okay so from the architectural standpoint this is the high level picture but uh, dig when we dig deeper this is a huge mechanism this alone is like a kind of some research kind of stuff yeah okay so what they are doing they are simply accessing those models which are already available in market <laughs> and out of that they are building some spaces like this okay so you can just simply go and explore all these things suno is one such thing there is something called music gen right so that is from facebook that that is capable of creating music out of it okay yeah. you can play along with uh, music gen right and also there is a thing called text to speech speech to text like this okay so there is a model called whisper Mhm. Yeah, just go here and if you go wherever you go here you can see some spaces. Okay, you can click on this. See this will simply transcribe whatever I am speaking. Right? So that is also possible. See, let me record it from mm-hmm. my microphone and let's see what is what it is showing, okay? Ah, uh, yeah. Hello. Okay, hi. How are you? how how the things are going on i am teaching python here and let's see how let's see what it is generating see now this is my this is this is my audio right so if i want to transcribe if i click on it see now it is processing my audio and oh, it is yes. trying to recognize my audio see now it generated my audio into text right so this is called as speech to text yeah. so whatever i speak it can type and also it can translate as well see if i click on translate and if i submit it yeah see it will translate it into some other language even if i am if i am talking in some other language also it can translate it for me in english like this okay yeah so these and all are like uh, nowadays biggest thing so this is from the same company who created chat gpt okay ah uh, yeah this is called as open ai open ai is the company open ai is the company who created this chat gpt stuff okay same way you can transcribe any youtube urls as well see suppose in case you are you are hearing some podcasts in youtube right so you can simply give that youtube youtube url here Yeah, so once yeah. you once you paste the YouTube URL which is having the podcast, and if you click on submit, you can get the complete complete text out of it. So you don't need to waste time in completely watching that podcast. Okay, so you can come to know like what these people were speaking. Right behind the scenes, anyway. Again, if you go to files and if you go to this app dot py, you can see the Python only here. Right, so everything is a function. right so what they are doing they are just trying to use this model as an api okay application programming interface like this yeah okay just dig deeper on python so that python will help you to explore more, so many things and you can also try writing lot of code like this yeah right yeah how do you feel the classes nikil useful or i just bored nice. for no oh, yeah Okay, fine. Yeah, that's that's good. Mhm. Okay, you can stay in touch with me at any time. I will give you my mobile number. Yes. Okay, my mobile number is plus nine one nine eight nine double four eight one two eight. Okay, so this is my mobile number. You can reach me out at any time. but mm-hmm. mostly i won't be available on mondays to fridays saturdays and sundays are completely free only okay yeah 
thank you so you can reach out to me if you are having any doubts also don't don't write write back to me in the email which we were communicating yeah right? okay. we were communicating in this email right so yeah. this one Okay. So yeah. don't write to me in this email because I don't check this frequently. Okay, write okay. to me in this one. Arul Benjamin Chandru at gmail dot com. Okay. Yeah. Okay. If you have WhatsApp, just send us send a hi to me in this number, or if you have some Telegram, also you can send a hi to me in this number. Yeah. Okay. So okay. that I can save your number and you can also save my number. Yeah. Will do. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Please let me know if you have any doubts, Nikhil, or else we can end the class now. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.